Please remember to click the like, subscribe and the notification bell. It really does help Tea with a Tally to keep theatre alive. Ah, I can see you. Just needed the video enabling. Uh, can you hear me, Michael? How are things at the county FA? Hello, Brian. Uh, I'm hearing you loud and clear, thank you. Uh, everything's fine here at the FA. Brian, uh, as you know, I'm head of the Referee Appointment Committee. Are you free for a quick chat? Absolutely. Always got time for the big chiefs. Oh, uh, bear with me a second. Just replacing the P in my whistle. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Uh, nothing, nothing at all. Just an old referee staying from an old referee. Are you calling me good news? Good news? Come on, Michael. County Challenge Cup final in three weeks. Local rival. Big crowd. You'll need a firm hand on the team. Someone who can keep the game in order. Is that it? No, I'm afraid that's not... Yes, if it is, I have to say I'm ready for the challenge. Just give me the word. I've had a lifetime of experience. I, I can't say I'm surprised if my name has been mentioned in important circles. Could it be a case of my reputation going before me? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you certainly could say that, Brian. But as I said, this is not about the County Challenge Cup final. I, I just wanted to have a, a word with you about some of your recent performances. Well, I'm not doing an assessment for another 10 weeks. What's this all about? Don't tell me. Go through the territory. You had a complaint. Is that it? One or two, Brian. One or two. One or two? Well, one or two dozen, if I'm to be perfectly frank. Your matches after, over the last couple of months have tended to attract more controversy than we're used to. It's a competitive sport, even at our lonely level. Tempers can be frayed and someone has to step up to make the tough decisions. They may not be thanked for what they do, but it has to be done. I didn't go into this business to be popular, Michael. I can see that. So who's complaining? If this is about sending off that linesman, then she can say something to my face. I'll stand by every decision I've made, except perhaps that blind man encroaching on the pitch. I'm not sure if it's just a red card for him or one for the guide dog as well. I'll have to look that up. So, what's going on? Fire away. Well, looking back at your performances over the last couple of months, you officiated at Sunday's game between Matchborough Green and Spurnall. Remember that? I do indeed. A keenly contested local tie, packed with incidents, as Gary Lineker likes to say. Yes, it finished in near darkness, I understand. You ended up showing 11 yellow cards and sending off seven players in total. There was a level of violence and disrespect which I was not prepared to tolerate. I saw things on the pitch that day that would have been unacceptable at the sun. Players need to take responsibility for their actions, even when things get out of hand. It was an under-nines game. Age is no respecter of evil, Michael. They were vindictive little so-and-sos, and frankly, I believe some of those girls may have been ten. I said so in my report, although nothing was done about it. You have read the report. Oh, I did. All 11 pages of it, in a, in a rather frenzied handwriting. A very detailed report, Brian. Although it has to be said that six of those pages relate to an incident in which you claim bubblegum was forced into the lock of your bicycle and your tyres let down. Frankly, I'm not surprised. Actually, I think that might have been the work of a couple of the mothers. I was forced to write that report from behind some recycling bins. Such was the fury on display. 
You can see where the kids get it from, you know. Some Last of the parents week are... at Inkborough, you sent the manager to the stands. But because there was no stand, you made him watch the rest of the game from behind a tree. The week before that, you booked a player for failing to replace a divot. You've booked players for wearing red pants which showed through their shorts, two for smirking and one for, I quote, an unsportsmanlike haircut. I know what's going on here, Michael. I know what's behind this. Some people are singling me out for special attention because I don't just toe the line like everyone else. I think that a referee should officiate in a manner consistent with their beliefs and morals. And if that means delaying the start of the inter-schools five aside for a few moments so we can show our commitment to fighting racism, then so be it. Black lives matter, Michael. And as the man in black on the day, I feel it more than most. Or is that too much for the authorities to accept? Not at all, Brian. I have... No problem with you pausing the game for 10 seconds for the players to take the knee. What concerns me is the three and a half minutes and four cent John Ambulanceman it took you to get you back up off that knee. Uh, damn conditions. Uh, the old knee. Look, it won't happen again. The Gazette said that you refereed the rest of the game without leaving the centre, sir. Oh, except for one moment when you went over to remonstrate with two spectators for allowing the steam from their thermos to obscure your view of the action. These aren't isolated incidents, Brian. The, all of your games seem to be a, a, a catalogue of, of petty decisions based on how you feel at the time. That was a tough game to referee from the start. Things were boiling up from when I arrived and found my bicycle rack space was occupied and my two linesmen had eaten all the sandwiches. Not an easy game with a start like that. But a good referee doesn't let it affect him. Sometimes you have to rise above it and be creative. You can't just make up the rules as you go along, however helpful you think that might be. The referee is there to uphold the rules of the game, keep things safe and fair. He's not supposed to act as some kind of vigilante, Spanish Inquisition, inventing crimes just because he doesn't like something and then dispensing bizarre justice. Referee is not an exact science, Michael. It's not just a case of turning up, trotting up and down with the action and ensuring the game flows unhindered by foul play. No, it's much more involved than that. I like to think of myself as an artist, Michael, I really do. My whistle is my paintbrush and the game my blank canvas. I'm not quite sure what to say to that. Understandable, Michael. I am something of a one-off, a bit of a maverick, perhaps. Some of those complaining have a different word for it. Several different words, in fact. They think you've allowed power to go to your head. Oh, it's a position that carries some authority, Michael. And you don't want to abuse that authority. But everyone knows the power lies with the man in the middle, the ultimate arbiter. I completely accept that everyone will have their opinion about things. People will always see things in different ways. That's part and parcel of life and football. But someone has to make sense of all these angry voices and make a wise and reasoned decision. The final word, Michael, rests with the referee. Actually, the final word rests with the man who appoints the referee, Brian. And that man is me. Oh. Precisely. And with things the way they are, Brian, I, I think we've reached the stage where I think that we 
as an association, have to put the good of the game first. It's time for you to step aside. But I can't think of anything else I'm more suited to do. Run a small South American country, perhaps? I, I shall pretend I didn't hear that, Michael. But my hand is reaching for my pocket, if you understand my meaning. Look, I wouldn't go down that route unless you want to see the colour of my cards. Listen. I'm not stupid. I can see which way the wind is blowing. But I'm not ready to hang up my boots completely. I've devoted a lifetime to ensuring fair play on the field. And there's plenty of new peas for my whistle. I'd like to think that my, my experience, dare I say expertise, wouldn't simply go to waste just because of a few minor disagreements over the rules. I've got experience and wisdom that young referees, even at the top of the game, could only dream of. We can't let the moaners and critics take over the show. Surely there has to be a role for me in this great game of ours. I honestly can't think of anything. You any suggestions? Referee training. <laughs>